Okay, so you go out on the roof at night to look at the stars, but the whole sky is red, like it's filled with ketchup, the shooting stars making french fries in the heavens. This is incredible! But could it happen? You've been asking yourself that question your whole life. But you wouldn't know that now. You just woke up, dazed and confused in some kind of lab. You don't remember who you are or how you got here. Well, you feel okay. Your eyes are just a little sore. You see a bunch of containers and cages with cockroaches, snakes, dung beetles, eagles. A tarsier stares at you with his big bulgy eyes. A cat runs under your feet before you can even react. Now you hear voices coming toward the room. Your intuition tells you to get out of this place as fast as possible. The pursuers run after you. You hear them yelling stop in something else you can't make out. You find yourself in a long corridor and burst through the fire exit at the end. You're in the middle of a green clearing. The huge building you ran out of looks like some secret base. You climb the high fence surrounding the complex and run into the woods. After a while, you're convinced you've lost your pursuers. Now you can take a break and try to understand what's happening. You climb a high hill and look around. A gorgeous red sunset momentarily gives you some inner peace. You spot a town far off in the distance. The main thing is to get there before dark. Your running becomes a jog, then a brisk walk, and soon you're barely moving. You're exhausted, and that's when you see silhouettes of people with flashlights coming up on you. You don't have the strength to run further, so you decide to hide in a tall tree. They pass below without noticing you, but that's when you look up and see something that almost makes you fall over. The sun has already gone below the horizon, but the sky is flooded with red. You see the moon shining bright yellow. Thousands of orange, yellow, white, and blue stars speckle the sky. What's going on here? This can't be real. Has something happened with the Earth's atmosphere? Or maybe you're on another planet entirely. The combined beauty and fear of space painted red brings a tear to your eye. You climb down and build a fire. It's late and getting cold. You don't remember where you got these skills, but you do it without matches and lighters, all sticks and stones. But the flame. It's transparent, almost invisible. It's because of the orange-red glow coming from the sky. The green leaves of the trees mix with the red above and look brown. You could observe this new world for days, but the sounds of twigs and leaves crunching pulls you out of your thoughts. Fear gives you strength and you run to the town. Car horns, alarms, the sounds of civilization grow louder. You're almost there. Finally, the forest ends and you find yourself on the ground. An ambulance passes you, but you can hardly see its red warning lights working because they're masked by the red glow from space. Suddenly, bits of memory come back to you. You're a scientist, and now you know why it's red. It seems a super-powerful star has formed near the Earth. It's the only reasonable answer. Space is usually black because stars are too far away from each other and from our planet. The closest they get is 4 light years away, and that trip would still take 137 years to get from A to B. The light they emit simply can't illuminate that vast space in between. But it can and does when you shorten the gap. You know this because it's exactly why the Horsehead Nebula is surrounded by reddish-pink space. The immense light from the nearby blue stars gets absorbed by hydrogen, the most common substance in the universe. Then, charged hydrogen atoms collide with electrons, and red light is what we get. If a blue star 75,000 times more powerful than our Sun has somehow come near Earth, then our planet, no, our entire solar system, is in danger. You need to find people and warn them as soon as possible. You run along the road, and that's when you see your pursuers come out of the woods where you just were. You speed up and find yourself on a busy street. You want to shout for everyone to hide in their homes, lock up in their basements. But you notice something. Everybody's completely calm. The night sky is red, and all these people aren't even bothered in the slightest. 
it seems to be normal for them. Maybe you really are on another planet. You didn't even notice you'd stop moving, and that's when the people from the base catch up with you. They don't look mean. On the contrary, they're happy to see you. Why did you run away? What happened? One of them asks. You tell me. Why is space red? You shout back. They look at you with a smile and say that you did it. Did what? You're confused beyond comprehension. That's when the rest of your memories come flooding back. You're a scientist who's been researching vision, especially in animals whose eyesight is hundreds of times better than humans. Cockroaches, snakes, dung beetles, eagles, tarsiers, cats. You've managed to combine the properties of their unique vision and integrate it into human eyes. Your eyes. Now, you can see not just super far and clearly. You also see in different spectra. Gamma, ultraviolet, infrared, energies no other human eye can pick up. Your vision has been getting better every hour since the experiment. The first color you see on hyped-up sensitivity is red. Space is black as it always was, but you can see the glow from the Horsehead Nebula and other super-powerful stars that light up hydrogen atoms. The only side effect is that you temporarily lost your memory, so you didn't recognize your lab partners. The red spectrum is just the beginning. Your vision will only advance further, allowing you to see other colors and energies. Power lines and microwaves will glow. The night sky, for you, will turn into an incredibly beautiful mix of hues. So yeah, outer space could be red in one case, if your vision allows you to see it.